The artistic impressions covering the wood fence used to cordon off the earmarked area for the construction of the National Cathedral is an indication of government's resolve to undertake the project. If constructed, it will be one of the major initiatives to have survived widespread criticisms. The National Cathedral has been at the center of heated public debate since the government stated its intention to carry out the project in 2018. For some, the move is beyond the role of the state, as they argue for a distinction between the affairs of the state and religion. Some, like a former youth organizer of the Convention People's Party, James Cabrera Donfe, feel that getting a ruling from the Supreme Court to halt the process. Government has maintained that the project will be funded by donations. The construction is expected to begin by March 6 this year. The cordoning of is one of the major physical exercises to have been done as far as the National Cathedral's construction is concerned. We've caught up with the uh, Secretariat to get more understanding of the National Cathedral, what we should expect um, within this period to somewhere March 6th this year when actual construction is supposed to begin. At the moment what we are looking at is really uh, almost revising the Museums and Monuments Act to incorporate the National Cathedral. So that's from the legislative part, that will be the role of the uh, Secretariat. In addition, we're also working with the uh, trustees for the fundraising. But the other part is really the technical part. We are working with the uh, architects to ensure that the, the whole procurement process, the process of procuring a contractor, uh, takes place. Within what period will this contractor be uh, selected? Um, at the moment, I think within two weeks, the tendering documents must come back. Um, and so we are hoping really that by the middle, at the latest, by the middle of February, a contractor, a main contractor, will be in place. How much are we talking about to put up the entire cathedral? Uh, the finance minister indicated uh, when he read the budget uh, this year that it will cost over a hundred million dollars. The exact amount will be known once the uh, drawings are finished and the county supervisors have uh, gone over the figures. How are we faring with the donations that people are making? Um, at the moment, uh, we, at least from the secretarial side, we are very encouraged uh, by the response. Normally, funds start coming in when people begin to see that this is real. Uh, because the, only very few people give to concepts. Uh, these are abstract concepts, but once it begins to take place, uh, we are confident that we will be able to raise the money. We are developing, at the moment, we are actually developing a platform, an online platform, where uh, donations received will be made available online. We would basically go around and look at some of the artistic impressions and get to understand what really we should expect when, in four years' time, the Secretariat is able to put out the National Cathedral. Essentially, yes, it's a one big uh, plinth a platform, and then the main auditorium uh, sits atop of it. Uh, but I think what is uh, almost the most exciting part for us, uh, but also in terms of its contributions, is really what goes in uh, in the plinth. So uh, to start with, the, even the design itself uh, is, is almost revolutionary. Uh, it's a design that is located in biblical history. The roof of the cathedral actually represents the royal umbrella through which we reveal the king. Uh, so when in, the old, in the New Testament, when the veil is torn, what you see is the king of kings, the Christ the king revealed. In the Ghanaian context, or in the African context, where Christ the king is revealed, we only reveal divinity, royalty, through our royal umbrellas. And that becomes almost the roof for the cathedral. Um, the main body, the main auditorium sits atop uh, this plinth, this platform, uh, and that's uh, 5,000 inside. You can expand it to 15,000. Uh, the most critical or the most interesting part uh, of the contribution of the cathedral is what also goes in here. Uh, we have a Bible museum. Uh, we have uh, conference centers in it. We have uh, a national crypt under. Uh, that, that's also part of what the president meant when he said this is going to be our sacred infrastructure. Uh, so, so, so just for clarity, this will be the main auditorium yes. and it has three floors or four? It's going to be about three or uh, four floors. We have a parking also under uh, and then we have 
a restaurant, uh, a restaurant, we have cafes, we have bookshops, we have a music school, uh, we have kind of flexible, multi-purpose, uh, you can have banquets, you can have uh, different events. What, 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 you see, the whole idea is that this must be a living monument. Uh, it shouldn't really be a monument where we come once a year when there's a state funeral. Uh, or where there is a, every four years when there is a, a, a inauguration, a no grass service for a new president. But that it should really be uh, this monument around which we almost build cohesion, as the Supreme Court indicated. And so you have all these uh, spaces. Uh, we also have the park, uh, both a biblical gardens concept where uh, you, you want to ensure that this almost draws uh, people onto itself, that we want to bring in vegetation from the Holy Land, uh, so that even for research purposes, people who have never seen an olive tree uh, different uh, can come to the gardens and witness that. In addition, we have the main national park, uh, which really is, uh, if, if you look at it going forward, that becomes really this uh, national garden for recreation. People can come every day after work, you can come and sit down there and, and just simply uh, relax, uh, meditate, and do what you want to do. Yep. But essentially, this is almost the economic engine of the project. The buildings of several state institutions had to be demolished to make way for the project. Key amongst them is residential facilities belonging to some night judges, as well as the scholarship secretariat. While these institutions showed little or no resistance towards the demolition exercise, key critics of the project have based the opposition on these demolition exercises that were carried out. But for authorities of the scholarship secretariat, the project is a blessing in disguise. To them, the demolition has resulted in a relocation to a structure better than their dilapidated wooden office. We, we see it as a blessing because uh, um, it, despite the fact that there was um, construction going on, for a new office complex at that same um, compound, once we have been relocated to a befitting office um, infrastructure, we think that it's a blessing to us. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman.